Gillespie. A 14-year-old was shot and killed at a strip mall along Fayette Road early Tuesday evening. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us live from the crime scene. And Deidre, some of the neighbors you talked to said their children knew the victim. That's right. Uh, at the same time, they say they really didn't know much about him. They say he showed up here in this area over the summer. They tell us he didn't have family in this neighborhood. And they say that he was a nice young man, that they personally didn't have any problems with him. They are simply heartbroken. Gunfire erupted in this strip mall parking lot in southeast Atlanta during evening rush hour. I was in here working and I was trying to help a customer and all of a sudden we heard like five, six gunshots. Atlanta police responded to a person shot call here on Fayetteville Road at around 6.20 Tuesday evening and discovered the wounded teen. The 14-year-old had been shot multiple times. Medics rushed into an area hospital where he was pronounced dead. Yet another victim of senseless gun violence. A young man uh, just full of life, uh, just, you know, always had a smile on his face. Uh, just, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Rashida Simmons says she first saw the team in the neighborhood earlier this summer. He often played with her two sons. I can't imagine what his family is going through right now. No one we talked to could tell me his name or whether he has relatives in the area. They do say the boy stayed at this apartment complex with a family friend just down the street from the crime scene after his mother reportedly moved out of state. They say he didn't attend school. He hung out with everybody. Everybody accepted him, you know, around the hood. Um, I never seen him get into a lot of trouble. Police have released few details about the case or possible suspects, but this man, who concerned for his own safety, didn't want to appear on camera, claims he sees a disturbing number of children and teens armed with weapons walking the street. You know, just blow your mind, you know, be like, these the, these the baby, these kids and stuff. And then I'd be like, what about, what about the parents? The parents, the, the, the parents don't be nowhere to be seen. The children, everybody just walking around there, he's okay, correct? Now, the medical examiner's office tells me that they are not releasing this uh, teen's name yet because they've been having uh, trouble uh, contacting uh, family members. They're still trying to reach out to the victim's family. Anyone with information in this case is asked to contact the Atlanta Police Department. In Southeast Atlanta, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Deidre, thanks.